what's up guys John here hope you're having a great day and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Sunday morning by Maroon 5 this song has three chords in it it's a progression called a 2-5-1 that's actually a super common chord progression in jazz and pop as well I'm going to show you the chord shapes that I would use to play it and we're also going to go over that riff section that happens after the second chorus before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. We've got new video lessons dropping every single day on the channel. Tons of guitar lessons that are going to help out your playing. Also, after this video, make sure you check out all the other ones that are already on the channel tons of other song lessons. All right, let's get into the video. The main progression to this song, as I said, is what we call a 2-5-1, and that's relating to the key center that we're in. So the song is in the key of C, and so we're gonna play the two chord, the five chord, and the one. And that comes from basically the scale. So if I start with a note C, and I played a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and I go to the second note, that's gonna be where our two chord is built off of. So that note is D. And you can just count them up on your hand, right? C, D. So that's gonna be our two chord. It's gonna be a D minor seven. And then our five, let's count up again. C, D, E, F, G is gonna be a G chord. And for that, we're gonna play a G seven. And then of course, the one is gonna be C, which is the key that we're in. So we're going to play a D minor 7 to a G7 to a C major 7. And you'll notice that I'm using 7th chords for all of these. So instead of just D minor, G, C, which you could do, it sounds cooler, a little bit more jazzy to use 7th chords. D minor 7, G7, C major 7. So for D minor 7, I'm going to put my first finger on the A string, 5th fret. And I'm going to play from A down. We're going to go 5, 7, 5, 6, 5. D minor 7. And then I'm going to move that same shape to the 3rd fret and up one string. And I'm going to be playing, starting on the 6th string now, the E string, we're going to go 3, 5, 3, 4, 3. So D minor 7, G7, and then C major 7. We're going to play from the A string down, 3, 5, 4, 5. And if you want, you can get the high string 3 as well. So that would be... Now sometimes I might leave off the high string like on that and just play four notes of those chords like this. And that's a cool sound as well. So the progression is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In the first bar, we're gonna split the bar with two chords. So we'll play two beats on each. One, two, then on three, four. So that's two beats on D minor seven, two beats on G seven, three, four. And then four beats on C major seven. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One. That's going to be our progression for the whole song. Basically, you've just got... Now, when I add in this rhythm, I'm thinking of this rhythm based off of a 16th note sort of feel, which is what a lot of funk music has, more 16th note based rhythms. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a And then with my fretting hand, I'll kind of hit the chord. So I'm not holding down the chord and like this, there's a lot of muting going on in there as well. And 
what I'm also doing there is hammering into the first part. It's kind of a cool sound, right? It's starting with that D minor 7, but I'm laying my first finger down flat and hammering into the third and second fingers there. syncopating that G7, so like 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 2E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E. So changing on the uh of 2. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E. So we do this for the whole tune until we get to that riff. So this is the riff section that happens in the middle, and it's it's a cool little funky line. I'll show you the notes to it. We're going to play the third fret on the A string. Then we're going to go to the D string and go one, two. Then we come back to the A string and go two, one, zero. Then we go two, three, and then three on the low E string. And then we work our way down. So it's basically doing this, and then playing the third fret, then doing two, three again, second fret, two, three again, first fret. So three, two, one on the on the bass string. And then one, three, three, open A. start again. So three, four. Now there is one chord that happens out of this riff section. That's, that's one additional chord that you could play or you could leave it out. Um, it's a passing chord. So we come back to that C major seven, right? Do, 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 do. And we're back into the main progression. So what that is, is you're going from a C major seven to a D minor seven. But there's this note in between, C sharp, that you can do a diminished chord on. And the way you play that is, let's say you're on your C major 7, you bring your second finger up and bring your first finger down. So the frets that I'm on here are starting on the A string, 4, 5, 3, 5. And then you continue into the progression. So here's the riff into that diminished chord as a transition back to the main progression. A 1, 2, 3, 4. Diminished. Main progression. There you go, you guys. That's a breakdown of how to play Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. Have fun working on that chord progression and your funky feel. If you're interested in playing some more lead playing, like what I did at the beginning of this video, I have a special gift for you. You can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long, all about soloing. 
in the description below. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions, which is actually for sale on the iTunes bookstore for $15. If you want to support me, you can get it there. That would be greatly appreciated. If not, of course, get it in the link in the description for free for checking out this video. Thanks for your support. Also, if you guys want to follow along with me on Instagram at John McLennan, I post there pretty much daily, so you can be a part of what I'm doing there. And we'll see you guys in another video real soon.